Hey everybody, Titanic Gamer Dude here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Hollow Knight Blind. In the last part, we got to the beginning of the Path of Pain, and now we're here. Trying to complete it. Um, as far as platformer challenges go, Path of Pain, as the name implies, is the hardest platforming segment so far. This is probably the last one. But this is so above everything else the game throws at me, has thrown at me so far, that I'd like to believe this is the last platforming challenge. Because this actually requires you to have pretty much all movement upgrades, or you can't even like complete this. But, despite how difficult it clearly is and how it looks, These statues here, these soul catchers, give unlimited amount. So, Team Cherry can just be as creative as they want. That was my bad. <laughs> okay. That sucks. Okay. I like the lore of this game, though. Moth gets war is worshipped by a little small bug a kingdom of bugs. Giant worm comes along, shrinks, gets worshipped by the bugs. The moth queen gets forgotten. So to not be forgotten, she spreads a plague, an infection that enables her to control the minds of others. And this infection just turns anything with a mind to think and with emotion, with free will, into her puppet. Okay, okay, I had to wait. Uh, the Pale King tries everything he can to stop the infection. Uh, a couple of bugs found out uh, who thinks they thought Soul would be the way to stop the infection. That didn't work. They became infected and died, or they just became infected. So then a plan was concocted where uh, Okay, let me let me think about that plan. A plan was concocted with the what the white lady which was essentially his uh his mate, I think. And they would uh, get together, have a bunch of children, and then go down to the abyss and see if those children in void matter. And the attempt was to make a bug who didn't think, feel, or like have any emotion or no mind to break, no will to bend. Uh, the Hollow Knight clearly had emotion when it looked back at uh, the knight we we're playing as, but since he made it out, or since it made it out, because siblings are genderless, it was deemed worthy enough, or pure enough, to be the Hollow Knight, which is, a, this is basically a title that the uh, king bestows upon a, one of his children that he believes can stop the infection. Uh, so he was raised and trained like an actual child would be. And, uh, during that time, I guess, the Hollow Knight developed some type of bond with the Pale King. You know, like father-son bond, and probably saw the kingdom suffering a lot, and wanted to save the, the dying kingdom. And to be fair, what person wouldn't want to do that? What person wouldn't want to help out? Uh, 
basically because uh, thoughts were instilled within him or within the Hollow Knight, it was able to be uh, inflicted with the infection. So that led to basically everything happening here after the Hollow Knight got locked up or put in the put in the Black Temple to contain the infection within itself. And if the Hollow Knight was a perfect vessel or a pure vessel, it wouldn't have cared. It wouldn't have had a mind to break. It wouldn't have cracked the infection. It wouldn't have seeped out of it. it yeah, it's pretty jacked up lore. But it's lore I actually like. So we're basically trying to save the kingdom from a jealous god. A jealous, jealous, wrathful god. Okay, that's going to be insane. So I did beat the game. You're supposed to go in there and uh, into the Black Egg Temple. And if you don't have the uh, a certain charm, you will not be able to fight or get access to uh, the Radiance. I'm not sure what happens if you uh, don't Dream Nail the Hollow Knight either. I'd probably have to go back and get that ending too. But the fight with Hollow Knight is Pretty sad, because, uh, first phase is kind of difficult, or is, you know, it's, depending on your progress and how good you have the game, the first phase can be difficult, and then the second phase, you know, becomes a little more difficult, and then the third phase happens, and with what little control he has left over his body, or its body, it starts stabbing itself, and the music changes from an epic, like, this is the end feel, to this and it's well constructed because it just feels like you yourself are being stabbed in the heart yeah it goes from cool epic end of journey final boss theme to I don't know why I'm here doing this anymore it, it sounds like Something that would be played at someone's funeral. Of a time of mourning. And I love how this basically just is the main theme. But remixed to sound a lot more mournful and regretful. Well that sucks. Okay, that really sucked. That was my fault. Okay. Is it over? Is it over? Oh, this is a... Ooh. Okay. Void constructs to guard the White Palace. Okay. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Wait, lore? Okay, that's the young Hollow Knight. Oh, he looked at him. Oh, it looked back at him. Wow.
Wow. I can't go back. Okay. So that whole thing was just destined to fail. The whole thing was about trying to make a, a bug that doesn't have a mind to think or will to break. It was just, just, it was destined to fail. That's really tragic. Um. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. Um. Quick slash is very good. Oh, and also, if you're feeling really ballsy, you can do something like, uh, let me just show it off. So, like, over charmed. You have to do this five times, and before the game's like, okay, you can just let this go. And then over charmed, basically, you equip more charms than you're allowed if you have at least one notch to work with. But in over charmed state, you take double damage. So, like, Yoni's Blessing. I'll take double damage. So, one, two, three. I got six hits with this equipped. Uh, spell Twister. Uh, where is that? You could do Thorns of Agony, but. Uh. Dream now. Alright, I should probably go back to. Uh, the outside there it is and I should probably go back to the god home all right but before I do I'm gonna go back and go to the grub father save wait a minute uh, I think that creature called the collector i think the uh okay i shouldn't have gone and forgotten crossroads i should have went to dirt mouth the uh pale king probably constructed it so it could try to preserve certain bugs of hollowness to help deal with the infection hmm that's interesting Oh yeah, if you, uh, to fight against uh, the dream variant of Zote, the more you fight him, the harder he gets. Alright. Grubfather, what do you got for me? Flies LG. Okay, something's telling me to just go back in and check. Alright. Nothing yet. Alright. Alright, with that done. I can actually go back to, uh, what was it the God Home or something? So let me do that. Alright, let's find out.
God home? A bridge. A tune. Challenge. Pantheon of the Master, seek the gods of nail and shale. Finding. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna remove my charms. Oh, you revert your health back to normal? You revert your nail damage back to normal? Huh, you revert your soul back to one? Interesting. Let's try it. Which thou hast ordained thine own destruction. Through sacred combat we attune to this kingdom's greatest beings. By entering this gate, thou hast challenged the very gods of this kingdom. Dost thou consider thyself the equal to this pantheon of its masters? Draw thy weapon then, fool of fools, and be damned for thy arrogance. I'm still gonna go back and finish the uh, Coliseum of Fools. King Benfly. Okay. Okay, I only get access to like one, uh, I only get access to one. Uh, I got four hit points too. Okay. These little ones give me a good amount of soul. <clears throat> That sucks. Okay. Okay. There's more, isn't there? Okay. Let me just heal myself. Nice. It's a boss gauntlet. Okay, it's kind of like the Kirby series or the arena. Huh. Nice. Okay. Dream now. Okay, so these are the easiest bosses. Okay. I'm assuming as the uh, 
as this continues on, the bosses get harder and harder and harder. Moth Charger. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I can't dash through it normally. That sucks. Okay. Kind of have an understanding of how this place works now. Alright, I'll cut it here though.